Hello viewers, welcome to History Form 4 and the topic of discussion today is the non aligned movement and we're getting to look at reasons for the rise of NAM. Remember we have, get, we have gotten to look at the origin, right? How did it originate? What are some of the, uh, the, 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 the principles, right? What are some of the, the, the founding leaders of non aligned movement? Now today you get to look at reasons for the rise of NAM. Why NAM? Rather why the non aligned movement? The station you're watching is Elimu TV, your favorite learning station. Your teacher is Roger Michira. Welcome all and let us learn. Now, class, what do we expect by the end of the class? We do expect that we're able to state the reasons for the rise of NAM, right? And also the aims of NAM. What are some of the reasons? Why NAM, right? Why did it rise? Why was it instituted and also what are some of its aim? Now, straight to our discussion, we have a number of reasons for the development of NAM. For example, one, the newly independent states did not wish to join the other, blo uh, the, the, the other power block, rivalry between the USA and the USSR. I told you, this is a, ne a neutral kind of, uh, of organization, right? It exercises neutralism. That's why it did not want to uh, join the USA and the USSR. These are two power blocks. We have the communist and the capitalist. Remember, USSR was a communist. The USA was a capitalist. So that is why these independent states did not want to join any of these power blocks. Now, another reason for the rise of NAM is that developing nations wanted to safeguard their independency. Remember, these are states that had acquired, uh, had, uh, were newly independent states, and that is why they really wanted to um, safeguard their independency. And also, they wanted to establish their own distinct identity in world politics, right? They really wanted to do different kind of uh, politics in the world politics. And that reason is that they needed cooperation among countries to ensure peace so as to save the world from another world war. Remember, these are countries who witnessed World War and World War II, and they did not want to involve themselves in, in another world war. That is why they were independent, independent cooperation among these, the NAM members. Mm -hmm. Then also, the emerging mm -hmm. nations did not want to be involved in the Cold War. Remember, there is this Cold War, right, that now was between USSR, USA, right? The France also was involved in the Cold War. Now, it did not want to uh, be involved in the Cold War. Then finally, the foreign policy approach would enable the states to get maximum aid from both, blo uh, from both blocks for economic development, right? Now, now due to their neutral, neutral behavior, right? They could get support from the communist, they could get support from the capitalist, right? So they were at the center, they were middle, they did not align themselves to end of the power blocks. That is why they looked at getting financial support from or other economic development from these other two blocks, the communist and the capitalist. Having looked at the reasons for the rise of NAM, can you get to look at the aims? Now, after setting NAM, what were some of its aims, right? One, to fight the colonization of the third world countries. And you all, you all understand what decolonization is. Now, that is why NAM was instituted. They did not they wanted to fight decolonization. Remember, Africans were first decolonized. Then again, they got independence. Now, there's that colonial denomination, right? Still, they that's what they really wanted to move out of these member states and also to promote economic independence, right? No issue of de uh, depending on the colonial powers in everything, in food aid, financial aid. You see, they wanted that economic independence from their colonial masters. And also to make funds available for improvement of agriculture to ensure increased food production. So ensure that there is enough funds for improvement of agriculture. And finally, to fight racism in the world. And remember, these were some of the independent states and a number of them were African states, right? So they did not, they, they really want to fight, they really wanted to fight ratio uh, discrimination or racism in the world. Finally, for our, for our activity, can you get to state reasons for the rise of NAM and also state the aims of the non-aligned movement? As always, you get to refer to evolving world history and, gov and government. For more videos, for more lessons, class, can you get in touch with us? 
via Elimu TV, our contact address 0723144259. Send us your feedback. We get to know how our lessons are progressing. And also, if you want to get more videos, get to Elimu TV YouTube. And always remember to subscribe. Thank you so much, class. And let us meet in the next class.